Deputy City Manager Marlon Brown says event organizer Lucy Nicandri submitted three plans to keep Thunder by the Bay downtown. The first two trying to keep the event on Main Street. However, Brown says the opposition to keep the festival anywhere on Main led to this third alternative solution. Not that necessarily the church or the condominiums were against Thunder by the Bay, they were more concerned about their access. Nick Andrew says despite the pushback from certain businesses and condominiums, she's determined to keep it downtown. For the sake of our sponsors and the people that like to come into Sarasota, is to try to keep it as close to downtown as possible and still give an ambiance to the festival that's going to generate people wanting to come to Sarasota and make their travel plans in advance. She submitted a formal application to host the festival at Payne Park. This was our best solution coming to this juncture, knowing that we're getting pushback now from the east end of Main Street. This wouldn't be the charity's first time hosting Thunder by the Bay here at Payne Park. Nick Andrew says this venue is great for community events. She just hopes supporters will get behind her. We're hoping that some people who really enjoy this festival and our residents of Sarasota will speak up and support this event staying in Sarasota, staying near the downtown corridor. That's key. The feedback we've had so far from the neighborhood associations, one, the Alta Vista Neighborhood Association seemed to support it.